Good morning. So we just had a storm. And coming out here to check everything. Looks like it took, knocked this over. It still held on, but push it back up. Get it back in position. A lot of water in there. So, it looks like we got a frog in there. He's running a little low. This wall keeps collapsing. When I dug this hole, I didn't really secure it very well. Uh, with the rain, it probably pushed in a little bit. And with this running low. But I put the new bubbler in there. Definitely a lot of bubbles. Speaking of bubbles, the new aerator's in here as well, and you can see the bubbles coming out. This looks like it fell over. And the water, looking at the water, it's still murky, but it doesn't, I think it's a little bit better than it was before. That is a lot of sand in there. So it's been running for a while. Uh, again, I just have it being pumped into here. Undo that. I'm not showing the water level coming up at all. I think what's happening is the water pressure is forcing it through the sand faster. Uh, and so it's just pumping more out right here. But this is starting to get full. So this is getting, this is getting close to its line right there. And uh, it's gonna start leaking water here soon. Still have, I still can't see the bottom and I've been vacuuming it up. I think I got a lot of the sand out though. But I might have to uh, turn that bubbler off down there so I can put in just a bit more, take out just a bit more water from here. But I'm hoping I can find some fish soon. So just as a test, you see how tall this is, right? Put it all the way down. Let me turn it to the side. You can see about to here, which means from here to the bottom of the net is all the water I can't see. So as an experiment, this one is straight from the tank. This one is right after the sand filter, the, the drain. You can't really tell the difference. I just added another pole here uh, to give it more room in here for the plants to grow. So there's a little bit of room there. Don't know how well it's gonna work, but I just basically tied a little filter here. So it goes into the pipe, into the, one of these, the other filters that I used to have, the blue filter, on top of that little thing. So hopefully it's not so much so restricted that it uh, doesn't let any water in, but um, does, you know, filter some of it out a little bit. We'll see if this helps. Now that I'm off of work, I decided to fill up these tanks with the water. I'm actually going to do two things. Um, I'm not going to completely fill them up, but I did block them with these pipes so they won't bow out like these did. This one holds its shape fine, but this one doesn't. So I think I need to, I need to figure out something to do with this. I can't do that when it's full of sand and water and stuff. But what I was thinking is if I can get these water levels low enough, then I can get this or get that high enough I can get this water level low enough and I can see my fish and I can also get the stuff down in the tank so I do still have them getting water or oxygen got the bubble the bubbler going but everything else except for this pump is off 
uh, with any luck, I will be able to see these fish, catch them, and uh, potentially relocate them. I've also been wondering about, it would be really difficult, and we just transplanted some plants into here from up here because of the crowding. Uh, Angie moved some of the plants in here. Oh, oh this one fell down. Um, but I was thinking of taking this out so I can take that out and then put that tank in here. Um, and then, re, you know, replumbing it all with these. But I don't know. Still thinking about that. Uh, if I do it, I'll be doing it tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm going to need my fish no matter what. And what I'm thinking is if I do end up doing that, what I can do is drain this completely. Uh, when it's low enough, I can move my fish into one of those tanks. I can aerate that tank <clears throat> and then uh, remove these. I'm tempted to remove these this uh, this weekend and then uh, plumb everything up that way. But um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that. So it's uh, probably going to be a bit. All right, so I used the bucket and I put a lot of sand from here into there to try to get more sand in there because it seems like the more sand actually drains faster. So I'm not sure if there's something else going on or if that's what's related, so I'm going to try to balance the sand out. In the meantime, this tank is pretty much full. This one's now got super cloudy water because I just stirred all the muck up. And over here, you can see these tanks got really, they're really bad. Uh, water's still pouring into here though. So this water level's coming up. And the water coming out of there looks pretty clean. And you can kind of see the fish now. Kind of. I'm making progress.